Five weeks into the 94 season, many had felt the sun had set on the defending Class 3A state champs. You see, at that point, Cub Cats had managed just one win. Uh, one and four, that was, that was pretty bad. I thought at last point of the season. We were, we were down, and we kind of, the seniors kind of stepped it up, and we went had a little meetings with all the different levels on the team, and uh, we said we had to stay a little more focused. When we were one and four, there's not too many people thought we'd be playing in the semifinals of the state. But they are, and tonight the Colonels will have one of their toughest challenges to date. Leslie County's quarterback is one of the best quarterbacks in the country, if not the best. He's number one in the country in passing percentage, so, and he puts the ball on the money. Defensive line's got to get a lot of pressure on them. They got a big offensive line. We just got to get in there and pressure them, make them cause some bad throws, make them hurry the ball, get some sacks. Oh! Hey! Hey, Art! Hey, Art! You find out when you sit here and you find the football, what happens? Cubcats has found a way to win the last eight weeks. They believe they belong where they are, and they have motivation to continue. A chance to go back to back uh, state champions. I mean, again, nobody was be yeah. thinking this a while ago. I mean, you got Yeah, have... that's a little bit of incentive, and I will we'll be ready to go, and uh, it'll be a heck of a football game. I can tell you that. Yes, that's real important to us. Uh, we were even talking about that this, uh, last time. And we won at 87, 88, and now it's 93, and we're thinking 94 should be up on the scoreboard behind us. Run!